Listen up, folks, okay? Blair White. Who is she? What is she? Where is she? The answer to those questions are as follows. She's um, a huge piece of shit, translated YouTuber. Um, what is she? A, a human, I guess? And where is she? I think she lives in LA. That's not really relevant, though. When is she? Probably the same timeline as the rest of us. But why am I talking about her? Because Blair White has... Blair White has severed the umbilical cord, okay? Listen. Um, I had a debate with Blair White a little while ago. For those of you who don't know, Blair White is like some bimbo transfer. That's not an insult. That's the aesthetic she's going for. Don't you fucking lie to me. Some like bimbo-ified trans lady, American flag shit. And her job is to go on the internet and shit on trans people from behind the guise of being trans herself. That's that's sort of her that's sort of her her shtick, you know? And I debated her a little while ago, and here was my thought process, okay? Here's here's what was going on in my head. I thought, hey, Blair White puts out shit tier content. It's hor it's incre it's stupid. It's blatantly transphobic. She constantly shits on trans people. However, recently she criticized, I think it was Dave Rubin, for being disingenuous when he criticized trans people publicly, but then later privately said to Blair White that he didn't have a problem with trans people. And Blair White called him out for that. So I thought, okay, Blair White may be a fucking dumb shit bitch, but maybe she has some principles. Maybe she actually is trying to carve out a space for trans people um, in her own low IQ way, you know? And I debated her. It was Steven Crowder. It was Steven Crowder, not um, not Dave Rubin. Well, Steven Crowder's even better, isn't it? Because Steven Crowder's a larger content creator, I think. Whatever the case may be, I thought there might be some, some reaching out on that one. Um, and I was, I was very wrong. The debate was extremely unproductive. And since then, I feel like her tweets have actually been getting worse and worse. Um, here, like... This one really set me off, for example, okay? This was like, um, this was like, uh, I guess just like two or three weeks ago. I'm looking at this from my fucking, see, look, see how I'm here in the search bar? That's because this isn't my fucking Twitter account, because this dumb bitch fucking blocked me. So, here's the tweet, you see. Any gender can get their period. Any gender can get their period. Do, 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 do. Cool. Great. Okay. I have to say, the, this style of tweet always leaves me with cold feet. Okay? I don't like this style of tweet. Technically true, though. See, watch. I can plug this syllogism in very easily. Watch this, okay? Watch. Watch this. Any gender can have a penis. Well, I'm a man. And I have a penis, so that's men down. But so that's men. Men can have a penis. Check. And Blair White is a woman, at least according to her. I mean, I'm taking her word at it. I assume she's not lying about her identity. And Blair White has a penis. She's talked publicly about having not had bottom surgery. She has a dick. Just like me. I imagine mine's better. So... Syllogistically, if the statement, any gender can have a penis, is true, which Blair White would have to agree with or invalidate her own identity, suggesting either that what she has between her legs is not a penis, which she would never do because that's the, that's the postmodernist invalidation of biological reality that these people seem to care so much about, or she would have to accept that she's not a woman which I don't think she's willing to do either. So this is this tweet is so overwhelmingly stupid. So unbelievable, so unfathomably fucking brain dead. It's astonishing to me. And of course I tweeted about it and I responded about it and then Blair White blocked me. Extraordinary to me. All of Blair White's tweets are like this. Her entire fucking Twitter account is dedicated to like every three days just shitting on trans people in a way that doesn't even come close to 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 advocacy look at this here let's go okay epstein didn't kill himself okay that's fine cool we're fine with that one okay here
If accepting trans people equals 11-year-old transitioning, biological males destroying women in sports, dating trans people or you're a bigot, then don't expect acceptance anytime soon. The insanity is too much. Happy Halloween to everyone who acts like I'm the devil for having a different opinion than them. If you believe children shouldn't be able to drive, drink alcohol, or get a tattoo, but should be able to chemically castrate themselves and transition, you're either a monster or a fucking moron. Note, by the way, these are all talking points just from literal transphobes who believe that trans people are degenerate, mentally ill dumb fucks who would call Blair White a man. I'm willing to believe that a lot of the people who liked and retweeted this think that Blair White is a man, a delusional, mentally ill man who at least has his politics on straight. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. It's so easy. It's so easy to imagine that. Then here's the tweet that got that that led her to uh, to to blocking me. Here, this one's funny. If you can't have friends who disagree with you politically, you're emotionally and mentally weak. Can't relate. And then she blocked me for disagreeing with her on this one. So that's a fun little bit of irony. The point ultimately is that this is the lie. This is the lie Blair White likes to tell, that Blair White advocates for trans people in a way that conservatives understand, when in reality what she does is just repeat the exact same bullshit transphobic talking points that every other transphobe conservative does, but she's trans so it's okay. I've looked through her videos, by the way. I've looked through her tweets. There's nothing here that even comes close to advocacy. Like, not even, there's no trans rights, there's no even like, hey, listen, trans people are crazy sometimes, but you know, we are valid and do deserve to be treated well. N there's none of that. We can look through the entire Twitter account if you want to. We can go back as far as you want. Here, oh, this one was a classic. As many t uh, fucking likes as a Donald Trump tweet. And this format she copied off of a uh, neo-Nazis um, tweet, I remember. Trans, I'm trans. Society, K. Trans, here are my pronouns. Society, K. Trans people, wax my balls and give hormones to kids or you're a bigot. Society, okay, that's a little too fu- Trans, fuck you, fascist. Society, okay, fuck it, then I give up. Trans, oh my god, why does everyone hate me? This one got really big, didn't it? 102,000 likes. Literally copied off a neo-Nazi. So that one's cool right here. Just anti-trans propaganda. Nothing here uh, that's even remotely advocacy-oriented. Y'all won't vaccinate your kids, but you'll give them hormones, Lamau. I hope the world ends soon. It's not transphobic to not date slash bang trans people. I think a lot of folks assume they are hated for their sexuality, race, or gender, when in reality, they're just unlikable cunts. Here's the whole Jessica Yaniv arc, 100% dedicated to calling Jessica Yaniv like an ugly, bearish man. That one was good, too. That one was good. Jessica Yaniv, Jessica Yaniv... Uh, video games, Jessica, Jessica Univ. A transgender three-year-old is like a vegan cat. We all know who's making the lifestyle choices. Oh, here's shitting on a young trans person. Uh, here's shitting on Antifa. That's cool. More Jessica Yaniv. Uh, fucking bikini pic. Talking about boobs, I guess. If Ariel can be played by a black woman, Scarlett Johansson can play a trans woman. Y'all are ridiculous. This is ev this is every... This is every single every single tweet but here's where the pattern breaks and this one i think is really important this was a video that blair white did as a response apparently to people saying that she needs to use the men's restroom she goes into a man's restroom and is of course confronted for being a woman because i mean it's blair white i mean there's not much confusion here right and you know how this video is played off Oh, that's awkward. Wow. I guess it is silly for Blair White to be using a men's restroom. I mean, look at how she looks. Haha. <laughs> she's so pretty and feminine. She's got boobs. She's not a man. She's a woman. That's why she shouldn't be in the men's restroom. And that's the key to Blair White's content. Blair White's content is 100% dedicated to validating her own identity at the expense of everyone else's. That's it. Blair White is a well-off, attractive trans woman who passes pretty easily. It's 
all she has. And the only reason why she got mad at Steven Crowder is because that hypocrisy implicated her. She doesn't give a single shit about trans people. Not a single one. There is not an ounce of compassion in her heart for the well-being of any of the millions of transgender people across the world. Her interest is this and this alone, to be the good trans. It's really a very juvenile mentality, no different than those girls in high school who were obsessed with putting other girls down so they could be the one cool one to hang out with the guys. No different than those ridiculous black grifters who constantly shit-talk black culture. Like, say, for example, Jesse Lee Peterson, who talks about immorality in the black community when he's had several failed marriages and is estranged from his son, who he no longer supports. But he'll still turn around and make fun of black people and say they're immoral because they can't hold a good family. She's a grifter of the absolute worst kind because she is convinced that the only way in which she can um, uh, uh, efficaciously advocate for the rights of trans people is by advocating for her own pretty fucking bimboified ass. And the extent to which she takes this is extraordinary. Extraordinary, the extent to which she takes this. This is every single fucking tweet out of her. And she only tweets once every, like, week or so. It's not like she tweets frequently or anything. And every single one of them is dedicated either to some irrelevant bullshit or to, you know, reandizing transphobic propaganda. Now we can, I mean, we can go over the video version of this if you want. In fact, let's, do, what, you know what, let's fucking do it. I fucking hate this shit. Nothing enrages me more than these disgusting fucking grifters. It's genuinely fucking revolting to me that people can behave this way. Listen, if you, if you hate trans people, okay, cool, have fun, go about your, whatever, okay? I mean, I, fuck you, you know, but cool. But when you're portraying yourself as the savior of trans people, as the advocate for trans people, as the, the conservative bastion for trans rights, and all of your content is dedicated to shitting on trans people. I mean, I mean, what is there really to say about that? Apart from the fact that she's a dumb bitch and a hypocritical cunt who is interested in nothing other than appeasing all the people who would have called her a man um, if she weren't um, advocating the, the right NPC political talking points. Yeah, Blair White literally talks about how <clears throat> if a kid is trans, then it's the parent pushing it. But uh, Blair White has said that she experienced dysphoria as young, like really young, too. Holy shit. I mean, we can like, let's look really quickly. There's not even, the, that's the thing. We're adding Blair White now to the dumb bitch circuit, okay? We're adding Blair White to the circuit of people I occasionally shit on, all right? But how much is there for me to really do when all of her videos are the fucking same? Any gender can get their period, trans athlete. Here's um, here's a, a lie, more propaganda about that, Um, what's the name of that kid, Lucy? Lusa? What, what's the name? That big thing where the, um, where, where the, the father um, disobeyed the state? And is engaging in abuse against the uh, the trans daughter. Luna. Luna. That's it. Here talking about detransitioning. Fucking trans women are 100% real women. Okay. Talking about contrapoints. Something about Anision, who I have no idea what we're talking about. Shitting on drag queens. Jessica Yaniv. Uh, talking about trans ageism. This plays out like a fucking highlight reel of all the cringiest, most degenerate fucking um, grifter, anti-trans talking points a trans person could possibly engage in. But let's do it. Let's, let's fucking do it. Why not? We're feeling good today. We're feeling hot. We're feeling pipe. Any gender can get their period, girl, by. Let's pick this apart in the most infuriating, incessantly self-righteous way possible, huh? Because Blair White really does deserve nothing more. I don't know what we're doing here. Ha! Get it? Get it? B 
because because Blair White get it? Do, wait, guys, did you get that? Because Blair White has a penis, so it's funny for her to get tampons. God, I love being a YouTuber. You get to go to work in your pajamas, and no one judges you. You're not gonna judge me, right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's not for topic that. is gross, and I wish it wasn't relevant, but it is. So we're gonna discuss it. But there are a couple things we have to get out of the way before I get to the topic, and I promise I'll go as fast as I can. The first is I'm coming to Chico, California for a don't care. I don't care. Well, don't care about any of this. So keep calling it. And the third and final thing is I wanted to thank you guys for making the winter merch on my merch store such a massive success. I, I don't. Jesus fucking Christ! We're two minutes in the video. Yeah. Can't relate. So a lot of you guys have probably seen all the viral memes and tweets and news stories going around. Any gender can get their period. All genders can get their period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember that blast from the past? We just did that one. Identifies as bleeding. I don't know what this means exactly. Is this a period thing? Left a present in the men's bathroom as a reminder that any gender can get their period and use whatever bathroom they want. If this is a picture of somebody leaving a used tampon in the men's bathroom, then I agree that that's a pretty fucking shitty thing to do. I'm not gonna, I'm not defending that shit. Yes, men can have periods and we need to talk about them. I stand by menstruators of all genders. Notice, by the way, how this is identical to all of the skeptic anti-SJW cringe compilations back of 2015-2016, where you take a highlight reel of all of the most ridiculous looking and sounding people on the internet, and from them you try to cobble together some kind of cohesive argument about the entire group you're referring to. It's the th same thing that Blair White does with trans kids. So she'll find some, like, three-year-old saying they're a... Uh, uh, a uh, uh, gender fluid kid, or well, like whatever, fucking kids are crazy. Kids have fun, go go for it. And then Blair White will do a spiel, an entire video, and several tweets that have approximately the same exposure as a fucking Trump tweet, talking about how anyone who um, anyone who believes that children should uh, be able to chemically castrate themselves is a child abuser. There is just this hysteria around menstrual cycles that I have never seen in my life because for the life of me, if I can remember, the only thing I've ever heard about periods and menstrual cycles, you know, from women is that they wish they didn't have it. All right. Yes? Ah, uh, fuck yeah. Give me that bagel. On a video about periods too? Oh yeah, give that shit to me. You gonna, re you gonna reach it in? I'm not getting out of my chair. Thank you. Very cocky. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, look, it's so, wait, guys, it's so thematic. Look, it's Takis. Look, they're like used tampons. You know Takis? The, the little fucking Mexico wraps? Mexico chip? Chippies from Mexico? I don't fucking know. We'll get to that in a second. Anyway, what I don't know what the fuck Blair White is talking about with like this hysteria concerning periods. I haven't seen any hysteria. I've seen a screenshot of a few people mentioning, correctly mind you, though we'll get to that, that any gender can have their periods. And I don't know what the fact that people typically don't enjoy having periods has to do with anything else that's being said here. So this thing that I've always heard have been like the bane of women's existence is now people are fighting over who can have it and who can't have it and who wants it and do you want it? Let's... What the fuck are we talking about? Who the fuck is ar who the fuck is arguing over who can have pe like wait like what wait does Blair White think well Blair White doesn't think anything because she's a narcissistic piece of shit with absolutely no brain matter but is what is, is Blair White suggesting that people are like oh like oh yeah me me too and then people are like cutting them their taints open with like a butter knife or something what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody wants to have periods. I guess maybe trans girls is like a gender validating thing, but they can't have them, you know? Life sucks, whatever. Um, nobody fucking wants to have periods. We're talking about who is capable of having them. Some men are capable of having periods. What, what, what is this, like, people fighting over who gets to have them? What the fuck are you talking about? That's all... What? You know, I really don't know when we entered this alternate universe and or simulation and or hellscape, but we're here. So I came across this picture of a trans artist doing what's called free bleeding. Okay, listen up. 
I personally find free, listen, I'm just gonna put this out because again, don't fall for the rhetorical tricks here. This is once again, trying to condemn an entire broader conversation by using a couple of extreme performative examples as a, um, as a, as a bludgeon. Um, that you can use to dismiss the the entire like swath of the argument. So I'm gonna okay, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Free bleeding is fucking disgusting. Okay, like okay, we can be real about that. However, this seems to be some kind of performance or art piece, which often are disgusting. If I'm gonna take a hot guess here, that's probably a trans dude. Trans dudes tend to have periods, at least to my understanding, right? So periods are not just for women. Hashtag bleeding while trans. This makes perfect sense to me. It's a dude, they're sitting there, they're trying to demonstrate the point that dudes can have periods. If this person isn't a dude, then Blair White isn't a woman, so that point isn't up for condemnation. There you go. All makes sense. It's still gross, but it all makes sense. And that's probably not actual blood, by the way. I would bet anything, like, that's just too, uh, too, like, clear of, uh, you know what I mean? It'd be like, it'd be like, uh, if somebody was doing, like, a free fucking Milkies free fucking like milkies demonstration you know and there were just big white circles around the nips like through the shirt you know what i mean it, it's just it's just too it's too yeah it's too red too on point you know what i'm talking about to prove that men and women can get periods and mm-hmm. you know, my initial reaction was to gag and then cover my entire body in hand sanitizer. And then I realized I should probably make a video about this. So let's get one thing out of the way. Technically, trans men, so female to male trans people, which are the opposite of me, can still get their period, I guess, if they are not on testosterone. Wait. 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 Blair, what's the problem then? Also... Yeah, wait, Blair, what what the fuck is the problem then? What what the fuck are you talking about, Blair? What what the fuck did you make this video for, Blair? Also, I'm pretty sure you can still get periods when you're on testosterone. I mean, you just did Okay. Well, I'm how are you going to backpedal off that one? But from all the research I've done on Google.com, um, apparently testosterone eventually stops your menstrual cycle and it's not something you have to go through anymore if you are transitioning to male. So I'm sitting here wondering why people are trying to force this whole like any gender can get their period down our throat when... What? Again, this the classic fucking line. Shoving it down our throat. The classic line right there. Anytime a bigot has doesn't have an argument against trans people or gay people... They just throw that out there. I have lived my entire life, literally my entire life, without ever once seeing somebody doing any fucking all everyone can bleed uh, shit performance art. My whole life. And I interact with a fuck ton of trans people. I mean, look at my community, right? My entire life. Nobody's shoving this shit down your throat. This is the same thing where, like, one fucking cartoon has, like, two girls kiss lightly on the cheek in the ninth episode. And then a fucking, um, then the fucking, like, Moms for, like, Moms for Conservative Christian Families Group organization sends a fucking write, a letter writing campaign to talk about how homosexuality is being pushed down the throats of children. This is, um, this is the exact same fucking argument. Also, what is this implication that, just because after a long enough period of testosterone ta- usage, most trans men stop getting periods? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Some men get periods. Some men haven't been taking tea long enough. Some men don't take tea. I don't think trans men really want to even acknowledge that. Like when it comes to gender dysphoria, I would imagine that that would be the most dysphoria inducing thing in the world. This is another thing. Blair White is ashamed and disgusted by the fact that she has a penis. She's mentioned this in the past because Blair White genuinely does hate herself as dumb fuck grifters who sell out their entire kind to, um, to, to gain acceptance from the dominant group typically do. So Blair White is disgusted, hates her penis. She said before, she said, when people are fucking me, I just don't want them to pay attention to my penis. I don't want them to know what's there. Why would anyone want the, the people to know it's there? And she projects projects her self-hatred onto other people, okay? Also, again, completely fucking irrelevant. Even if a trans dude doesn't particularly like the fact that he has periods, I mean, let's be fair, nobody likes the fact that they have periods. I assume I'm never gonna have one. Even if that was the case, that doesn't change the fact that they have them. It doesn't change the fact that they have them. Like, this is completely irrelevant. 
honestly, to me, it just seems like a really huge virtue signal. I mean, just what? Like this. What what the fuck does that what the fuck does stating a factually correct thing have to do with virtue signaling? And what does this have to do with a kid holding a sign? Maybe the kid holding the sign is virtue signaling, not the statement that men can have periods. What the fuck is this talking point? So this one actually upset me. I don't know if this child is biologically female and presenting as a boy. I don't know what's going on, but no matter the age, no matter the gender of this child, they don't know what a period is. First of all, can we not utilize toddlers for political messaging at all? For one, nobody gives a shit about using toddlers for political messaging. Have you ever been on Facebook? There are so many fucking impact font boomer memes using children in overalls talking about how the economy did shit under Obama. It is fucking disgusting. The idea that we don't typically use toddlers in political memes is f fucking completely erroneous. For two, once again, classic anti-SJW skeptic conservative bullshit. Found one picture. Now we're going to rant for three minutes on how this in particular is objectionable, even though... um. Uh, even though, um, uh, 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 broadly speaking, this has absolutely nothing to do with the discussion. Like, let's let kids be kids. And the second thing is, if we're gonna use them, can it not be about bodily functions that they don't even understand? Like, apparently this image was in a magazine. It's viral all over the internet. I blurred the kid's face because I just feel really bad. I have never seen it before in my life. I have never- viral all over the- Hey, guys, have you ever seen this picture before? Have you ever seen this picture before? I have never seen this viral picture before. This crazy fucking viral photo that's taking the internet by storm. Nope. Ooh, damn, me either. Ooh. Almost like it's an irrelevant fucking picture that she found, probably because it was forwarded to her by somebody who thinks she's a man, and she knew she had to include it because it would help reinforce her argument that trans people and their agenda are disgusting and degenerate and pedophilic. But this kid's gonna have to live with the fact that their parents made them hold this sign up forever who who the fuck cares what the fuck does that have to do with anything what what oh god oh i just found this picture of me when i was two i'm holding up a sign oh my god oh geez and that's just really tragic honestly tragic the fuck are you talking this is about? james gloss by the way so good and in a brand new episode of trans activists fighting for everything but legitimate trans rights that statement coming from Blair White is so poignantly hypocritical that there's nothing I can even say about it. The feminine hygiene brand Always recently changed their packaging to remove any semblance of female symbols and make the packaging gender neutral Damn. to accommodate non-binary people. Damn. Oh, you see that little fucking cunt face? Gender Look at this little. To accommodate non-binary people. Mm, ah, mm, I love being the bully. I spent my entire middle, high school, and early college life getting shit on for my gender dysphoria and my inability to feel comfortable in my own skin. But now I have a big YouTube channel. I get to shit on other people. Always punch down, Blair. Always punch down. I know the euphoria you get in between the fucking crying sessions because you know you'll never be a real woman in your worldview makes it all valid. Do you, by the way, guys, do you really think Blair White actually thinks she's a real woman? This bitch has so much internalized transphobia, I guarantee you she probably thinks sometimes she's delusional too. Uh, like, honestly, like, knocking her over the head and brainwashing her with some, like, proper gender theory would probably be for her benefit, too. You know? The feminine hygiene brand Always is officially removing the Venus symbol from its products. The company is making the change in an attempt to make the labeling more inclusive of transgender and non-binary customers. Now, I'm now, wait. Let's respond. Let's respond really quickly. Let's respond really quickly to this if we were a sane and sensible human being, okay? Changing the label and the packaging to being non-gender specific hurts literally no one. There is no harm done. They still look like tampons. You can use them just as you did before. No harm comes of it. There is no problem whatsoever with this. It's funny because conservatives are always accusing lefties of being the ones who are obsessed with imaginary problems, but you are we are we are on the cusp of hearing this cunt complain about something that literally has absolutely no negative repercussions and has depending on who you ask, positive repercussions. 
I'm not offended that they changed the coloring of their packaging oh. or removed the female symbol from their packaging. But oh. I will say that, you know, just as a business-minded person that I do consider myself somewhat to be, it would seem that although some what? self-identified non-binary people do probably buy your products, like, is it really that pressing of an issue that you have to potentially alienate the 99.9999999% See? We're doing it again. Who the f- Fuck is getting alienated by this shit. Who the fuck? Okay, for one, business minded. Nice try. For two, what the fuck do you mean alienated? What? You, if you're if you're a cis woman, if you're a woman and you've got a fucking pussy and you've been buying these tampons, you can just go there and go like, oh, they changed the packaging, whatever. And then you just go the fucking tampons and you shove that shit right up your pussy to keep the blood in. Okay. Look at how concerned she is about um about alienating people who are literally not affected by this and how unconcerned she is with the potential of alienating trans people. Also, the implication that cisgender people are 99.9999999... Ah, fuck you, you stupid cunt. You know goddamn well trans people are like 1-2% to of the population. That is to say, millions of Americans. No, she's so, she's so concerned with the alienation of the broader group and so unconcerned with the alienation of the group that she claims to uh, represent. Of customers who buy your product who are women for the 0.0000000001% that are non-binary, like what, what's, what's going on? They say that trans people make up like 0.01% of the population. No, they don't. Who, no, I have never heard that stat in my life. Not even fucking close. Who's they? Who the fuck is they? Where did you read that from? Let's see. It looks like estimates right now range between 0.6% and 1.4%, depending on how exactly you phrase the question. If you phrase it like, do I identify as a man, woman, or other, then you're going to get a really large chunk of the population, like 3 or 4%. But if you have a specific category for transgender, you get a little bit less than 1%. What the fuck is this 0.02%? I don't know. What, I, I have no idea. So, you know, among that, you think of non-binary people, which are even more rare than just regular trans people. No. I Stats on that? What the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, even if it was 0.01. Yeah, no, it would still be a large number of people. What the fuck is this? Wait, hold on. Percent of population, non-binary. Are there even stats on this? Yeah, I don't see any reliable statistics on the um, on the percentage population of non-binary people. Only how much they represent of the broader transgender population. I think a reasonable estimate would probably be that somewhere in between um, 0.8% and 1.6% like, of the population identifies as either NB or transgender. And that population is going up, by the way, very quickly, especially non-binary people. I mean, you people are young, right? In my chat, how many non-binary people do you know? Like... Again, this definitely varies by area. A really large number of um, a really large number of the people that I knew in high school and college were identified as non-binary. You know, like a like a lot of them. A lot of people are just not a tremendous fan of like you know fucking gender or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you guys like no folks. Obviously, this isn't like a academic you know study or anything like that. But um, the 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 number of non-binary people identifying like it's going way the fuck up. It's getting a lot more exposure. And here's Blair White over here playing the exact same role the staunch anti-trans conservative always has, pretending that they're a minute unpleasable uh, minority that has ridiculous needs that don't need to be appealed to without uh, alienating the rest of the population. That's like 50 people. <laughs> and you're changing the packaging for them. Like what? It just doesn't seem like a good idea to me at all. And I'm sure time will tell and sales will tell, but like, it's really annoying. 
How is it annoying? You said you, you stupid cunt. You said you weren't offended by it. Now you're annoyed by it because they changed the packaging to make it technically more accurate because even you acknowledge men can have periods. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I'm not offended. I'm just going to complain about it. Lie about the number of trans people that exist to make it seem like they're a minute minority that don't need to be appealed to, uh, but that I nonetheless find an enormous amount of time to shit on every single fucking video that I put out. And then I'm going to admit that I find it annoying that a company I have nothing to do with, whose products I do not purchase, had changed their packaging in a way to make the lives of the people I claim to care about better. Mayhem Miller, who is a famous drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. Holy shit, those are some fucking eyes. Oh my god. All right. In reaction to the story, actually said, I f***ing can't. Trust me, hon, neither can I. Mayhem the, said, I, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Feminine hygiene- Why the fuck? wait, just some random fucking drag queen? What the fuck are you talking about? Products are now under attack for being offensive. What the fuck? Under attack for being offensive. Listen to this fucking snowflake crybaby cunt. Ta oh, uh, the packaging is under attack for being offensive because the artists and the board of executives who design it chose of their own volition to change it to affect absolutely nobody's life. There were no protests, no fucking, uh, no fucking condemnation publicly. Just them choosing to change their product for the benefit of a small portion of their, uh, of their constituency. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, they're under attack? Holy shit. Next, are people going to complain because the Charmin company has bears wiping their ass with tissue because somehow that's exploitation or cruelty or not inclusive enough? No, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Listen to this. Now we've reached stage eight of the conservative grift shittery when you do anti-trans arguments. Make dumb fuck comparisons that have nothing to do with anything. Oh, oh, you get, oh, you get offended when I call you he, him rather than she, her, Blair? Would you get offended if I didn't call my buddy Kyle over here a, a helicopter kin? Because he wants to be called a helicopter kin. If you think that it's offensive for me to call you a man, then you have to think it's offensive for me to call him a hel not call him a helicopter kin. Like this it's the same shit every single fucking time. At some point, the community should consider what battles are more important. At some point, the community should consider what battles are more important. Exact same non-argument you hear every single fucking time. So this is literally just a few pictures of people talking about how trans men experience periods and so do some non-binary people, and one company of their own volition changing their packaging, and this dumb fuck is like, at some point, the community should really consider their battles, which in practical terms means shut up, nobody wants to hear you, shut the fuck up, you're not important, you're zero. 0.0000000001% of the population. Your needs are unimportant to me. Anytime you advocate for your own needs, I will interpret it as you attacking um, and alienating the broader population. This is the exact same grift every single fucking time. You do the same thing to fucking BLM. You do the same thing to the fucking gay rights movement. You're doing it currently to the trans rights movement. It is the exact same thing every single time. And I completely agree with that statement. And of course, Mayhem got a ton of backlash, which is so crazy. A ton of backlash from who? They're paying customers or by people like you who told conservatives to be angry over it? I'd be willing to bet the majority of backlash came from people who don't experience periods and are just angry um, at any non-gender essentialist packaging being pushed out. Interestingly, because a lot of trans activists and feminists are actually butting heads now, they are not allies anymore, a lot of feminists reacted like this. Is removing powerful female symbols from sanitary These are TERFs. ...products to accommodate the activism of an infinitely small number of men is the ultimate misogyny. There is nothing empowering or inclusive about erasing women and girls from the story of menstruation. And That's a TERF right there. That's a TERF argument right there. Nice, Blair White. Yeah. Wow, you're- wow, really, Blair White? Really? Really, trans activists clashing with trans exclusionary radical feminists? What a, what an ex, what an extraordinary turn of circumstance. I, I never would have imagined this. I mean, not to mention the argument itself is bullshit. Nothing is getting erased from anything. This is the exact same non-logic. Hey, hey, Blair White, DD Sussex up here, this person up here in the top left, thinks you're a man, my dude. This person who you're citing is an example that transgender people have gone too far. Believe, I guarantee you, that you are a delusional man who is intruding on women's sacred spaces with your penis or whatever. I guarantee it. 
but you'll prop them up because you don't give a fuck. You don't give a single shit. And I see her point. Like, yes, there are some trans men out there who do experience menstruation. That is a fact. But the number is so negligible. And listen, the brand can do whatever they want with their packaging, but... Uh, the bra uh, I mean, yeah, technically this entire video is pointless because people other than women do experience periods and I have to acknowledge that or be called a hypocrite and an idiot for being a trans woman in the first place. Uh, but you know, uh, there's really small. I mean, when I lie about how many trans people there are and um, I don't really care what other groups do with their packaging. I'll just complain about it, say that the community needs to reprioritize their efforts, say that other people have gotten mad over it and say that I'm personally annoyed by it. Ah, nothing, just... Me simultaneously decrying the trans movement and acting like an abet active transphobe and turf while saying, eh, I don't really care about it. Just anything to play off that dumb bimbo uh, aesthetic that really gets your fucking fan base riled up. I swear to God, most of Blair White's fan base really are fucking yes queen types. Ah, uh, stan, like that shit. Uh, when I interacted with Blair White on Twitter, I had to interact with some of the most insufferable dumb fuck pieces of shit that I have ever interacted with in my entire life. These subhuman fucking smooth brains out there in the fucking comment sections, YouTube, Twitter, what have you, that I dealt with after talking with Blair White on my channel are all uh, like simps. They're all like fucking 50, not even simp because there's no pussy there. Sorry, Blair White. That doesn't make that. I mean, in from the fucking perspective of the person whose tweet you just cited there, that makes you a fucking man. Um, fucking sim, sim. Wait, pussy and penis both start with P. Simps. Simps out there who are just cla uh, uh, clapping because Blair White is cute. And that's it. If Blair White wasn't attractive, that's it. That would be it for her. That is all she has. That is the only reason people listen to her. That's it. Yeah, simps is now an all-inclusive term. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, her fans are fucking insufferable. They're a mix of, like, blatant transphobe um, neocons who think that she's delusional, but, like, gets behind her because she has the right politics. And, um, and like, dumb fuck, like, slightly right-leaning gay men and, and women, cis women, who, um, who just like looking at, like, a makeup icon, say shit, like, how crazy and how far the trans rights movement has gone. Like, it just, again, it doesn't seem like a smart business move in my opinion. And honestly, when stuff like this happens, I can't help but feel like people are not fighting for anything that matters anymore. Here is a real LGBT issue that I wish we would talk about more, and I'm holding myself accountable that I don't talk about more, but we're going to today. Remember, let's let Blair White of all people dictate the course of what I was for one, the idea that like all activist movements have a finite amount of energy that they can only like, oh God, I found six pictures of trans men talking about how they can have periods too. That means those six pictures are, are, are bandwidth that could have been used for other more important trans issues, like taking a picture of Blair White in a bikini smiling, saying that trans people are degenerates if they get their kids transitioned. Uh, that, that would have been a better use of, you know, like the bandwidth for, for the purpose of trans rights. Don't let, don't let anyone t dictate the pace or the means by which you engage in advocacy. This is literally the subject of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s um, uh, letter from Birmingham jail, that the greatest obstacle to the Negro's freedom is not the white citizen's counselor or the Ku Klux Klaner, but rather the white moderate who agrees in principle, but tells you that now is not the time, who um, who promotes a, um, uh, who promotes a, um, a negative peace to a, um, to a positive justice. It's the exact same argument exact same argument. People who pretend to be sympathetic, but backstab the movement at every conceivable turn. Though, in Blair White's case, considering her history of saying she doesn't have a problem with white nationalists, she might be closer to the white citizens counselor or the Ku Klux Klaner than any white moderate. Choose your battles wisely. Instead of bullying brands to change the colors of their tampon packaging, nobody did that. Nobody did that, but you are currently complicit in bullying them to change it back, you stupid piece of shit. Always the implication that you have to bully companies into doing that shit. They chose to do it. Um, I would really like to point out that 40% of homeless youth are LGBT. That is a huge discrepancy. That is a huge overrepresentation of homeless youth as LGBT people. Yeah. So I would personally like to redirect all that energy that we're spending talking about periods and menstrual cycles. We can talk about multiple things, Blair.
multiple things. I'm sorry, how much of your time today did you waste? You have a 24 hour day, assuming eight hours of those are sleeping. Did you dedicate the other 16 hours of that to trans rights? Did you dedicate the other 16 hours of that to effective public advocacy? Or did you fuck around a little bit or choose what to do with your own time? Don't talk down to other people and how they choose to engage in activism for what matters to them when all you do is fucking counter activism. That is your entire job. Also, the idea that you give a single shit, a single shit about homeless LGBT youth when, when so many of your videos are dedicated to promoting transphobic lies about young people being trans or young people transitioning or about how it's abusive to put children on hormone blockers, how you contribute to the mentality of parents who believe that trans children are mentally ill or losers or degenerates. This is actual virtue signaling right here after contributing probably to an innumerable harm in the positive discourse, she'll then turn around and go, oh, well, mm, well, uh, you know what we should really care about? We should care about homeless LGBT youth, even though I'd be willing to bet a substantial portion of the population of those youth were kicked out by people who've watched your videos. To talking about the fact that your parental duties and responsibilities that so many people wish they had that aren't blessed enough to have a child to have, those responsibilities don't end when your 14, 15 year old says I'm gay or I'm a lesbian or I'm trans. Let's talk about that real issue that the fact that there are still parents out there who think that it's acceptable to put their kids out on the street because they come out to them. That's not okay. I mean, I don't disagree with any of this, even if Blair White is a stupid cunt and a gigantic hypocrite, that doesn't change the fact that this is correct. That is a real issue that breaks my heart. In Los Angeles alone, there are thousands of homeless LGBT right. youth, and it's not Virtue that you signaling. win. The LGBT community makes up just a the third, fourth, fifth video you watch, and you're not subscribed. Why? Like, can I? Um, now we're talking about subs. Nice. God, I fucking hate Blair White. What an absolute fucking subhuman piece of shit. Jesus Christ, I can't imagine being so shameless. I actually, I can't, fa I actually can't fathom. I actually cannot fathom. I gave her the benefit of the doubt in the past because I thought maybe she could be brought over. I don't believe that anymore. She has absolutely no soul, no heart, no conviction, and no um, uh, 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 no values whatsoever. Hunter Avalon does. There are conservatives that can be spoken to who you can reason with. This is not one of them. Blair White is just a uh, degenerate, desperate loser who's squalling to try and make up for all the time she got bullied in fucking early life, um, compensating by bullying others now and desperately appealing to all of the dipshits who would have called her a man back then. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, 10 minutes and three seconds, by the way. Trans community should focus on important activism, not this men have period stuff. By the way, gonna make a video on that subject and then complain about the fucking uh, packaging of a tampon brand being changed. That's an important waste of time. 10 minutes long and three seconds. Gotta get that. Gotta slide it on in.